I cannot imagine my life without self-testing. There have definitely been less complications as a result of the self-testing. This is something that you could take anywhere. I can do it early in the morning at quiet times. It takes all of six minutes. Home testing on a more frequent basis will allow the patients to stay within range and therefore eliminate these major complications that patients are experiencing. It's very easy for me to self-test my blood level at home. It's freed me up enormously. There's over three million patients in the country to, to date that are on warfarin and require INR monitoring. In spite of the current methods of INR testing in the physician's office, we still see patients come back with complications of bleeding or thromboembolism because their INR got out of range. Because I do have the system at home for testing, I can immediately test after, you know, something that will change the INR level and uh, we can adjust my medication to make it within the safe range. If I'm suspicious about something that happened in my diet, I can self-test. I don't have to make an appointment. It's also permitted me to have more time to be, you know, a wife, a mother, and an employee. And that really is very important. It's made my life a lot more normal since the operations. When a surgeon discusses valve choice, the major discussion in regards to mechanical heart valves, since they have the durability advantage over tissue valves, all centers around anticoagulation. Taking the drug, what are the hassle factors, how frequently do you have to be tested, and the anxiety of how anticoagulation will change your lifestyle. We refer patients um, for self-monitoring when we've established that they need more independence than what they're getting from us. That seems to be growing as the indications for anticoagulation grow.